Good morning. Today is Saturday, June 29th, 2019. So for air signs, uh, the first card that I have for air signs is the lover's card. So with the lover's card, that's just showing that the universe is trying to bring two people together. It's trying to unite you with someone else. It's also trying to show you that there also is a lot of love around you. So it doesn't have to be, if you're not in a relationship, it doesn't have to pertain to that. It could pertain to family. Um, it could be showing you that uh, the partnership, the unity, the family values, it could be trying to um, instill that favor uh, with you or with somebody else in your family. Some of you may have a distant type of relationship with someone. It could be your mother, could be a father, could be a sister or brother. Um, but it's showing that there may have been um, obstacles, disagreements, um, uncertainties, and maybe the closeness, that bond, was destroyed at some point in time. But it's showing that, you know, today being the start of something new, meaning that something can be rebuilt, something can be fixed, something can be uh, repaired. So with that in mind, again, and that could be for those of you who are not connected with a partner right now. For some of you who are waiting for that partner, air signs to return, um, this is showing that both of you are willing to reach out. Both of you are willing to take a step toward one another to see what you can do to come to a common ground, to maintain a common element so that you'll have something, <coughs> excuse me, that you'll both focus on. If there's a, one common element between the two of you, meaning something that you're interested in, something that you agree upon, something that you're adamant about, if there's one thing that you can find to build up from, in that aspect, you can definitely start to build your foundation. If there is no common element, common ground, then chances are you're going to um, not be successful in trying to recreate a situation. For some of you, it is time to walk away. For some of you, it's it's showing time to come together, depending on your situation, depending on your personal reading, maybe. Uh, but as a general, today, it's showing that either the two of you are going to try to unite, are going to try to mend defenses, so to speak. Um, but at the same time, you're both standing here uh, with this card. You're both standing very independently. So... It's not that you have to have that other partner. It is your desire, or it is their desire to be with you, but it's showing that you can stand alone independently. So first and foremost, be sure to love yourself first, uh, because if you don't, you cannot love somebody else. All right, fire signs. <clears throat> fire signs, you guys have the two of wands. Fire signs, you have the two of wands. With the two of wands, fire signs, you've had the world in the palm of your hand for quite some time. You've thought you've had your cake and could eat it too for a lot of you, or your partner did. But what it's showing is that having the two of wands is somebody holding on firmly to one of the wands, while the other wand is still right there behind them. So somebody has not completely let go of an option, um, a, another partner, a third party, uh, somebody is still holding on to that fire signs or somebody is trying to maybe keep their back to someone. Somebody's trying not to give attention to this other party over here. So for some of you who are in a relationship, that is a third party situation. If you're waiting for that partner to come back to you, they're not turning around. Not right now. They're not turning around. They're going to stay here where they have everything and that's what this world is meaning. <clears throat> they have the, <clears throat> excuse me, they have the house, they have the car, they have the kids, they have the wife, they have everything here. So when they came over this side, they were just testing the waters to see if they could. And then they came back. They came back to their partner. So they're not trying to walk away from this because they have too much invested here. Their finances are all invested here. So when they came over here to your side to play for some of you, that's all, in fact, that it was. It was like a one-night stand or was like a just a convenient thing. It was because they weren't getting the so-called attention over here. doesn't make it right, but this is what they did. And they turned around and they were giving you the attention here. But when push came to shove, when ultimatums were set, they went back home. 
So for some of you who are waiting for this person to turn around and come back, don't wait for them. They're not worth waiting for. Because even if you did get them, then they're going to have another person behind you, over here. So they're just going to cheat on you. Well, if they, if they cheated on their wife, why would they not cheat on you? If they got to be with you. If their wife left them, and they came over here to be with you, what makes you think that you, you have something gold that they're not going to turn around and cheat on you with? That's not going to happen. For some of you, this is a person trying to make a decision between two. This is somebody who uh, is unsure on what to do. They are trying to weigh out the balances between the two, the pros and cons. Trying to figure out, am I better to stay or am I better to leave? So this is still something that's up in the air. There's no decision made here. Could be dealing with a water sign. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Okay, also could be dealing with an air sign. All right, that's that's fire signs for today. Um, water signs. Water signs, you have the Ace of Cups. With the Ace of Cups, that's an overabundance, uh, a heavy flow of, so to speak, whether it's finances, whether it's love, whether it's luck, whether it's blessings. But either way, the universe is sending an overflowing amount of some type of energy, perhaps something that you are manifesting, something you are asking for, something that you've been wanting for quite some time. Either way, the universe is trying to send that to you. Could involve an air sign. Um, not so much an earth sign. Air is very strong around the water right now with that card. See, you don't really see too much earth. Um, but I also would say um, it could be a fire sign, maybe with a water sign, because um, maybe you need all that water to put the fire out so to speak. So, but for the most part, um, somebody's emotions may not be returned to you with this card as well. So you could be feeling a certain way, trying to offer a certain emotion, um, trying to offer someone a certain energy, but right now somebody's not accepting that energy. So you can, you can see that as well. Um, and it may be due to uh, heartache because all these drops could be tears so something could be upsetting or hurting your partner so that's what I have for water signs and then um, earth signs earth signs you have the tower so I don't know what you guys have been going through the last couple of days I know yesterday I didn't get my reading out but hopefully today um, this will help you guys but with the tower moment something got to the point where you weren't fixing it or you weren't addressing it or you weren't um, owning your own shit or you, you didn't want to accept what was happening. You didn't want to pay attention to the red flags. You didn't take the detour when you were supposed to. Um, you didn't stop being in a relationship or being with somebody when you knew it was wrong. So the universe creates a tower moment, which is a breakup, right? So the tower moments is always some type of ending. So the reason that the universe does that is because <clears throat> your higher power, your higher self, your, your angels, they don't want to see you hurt. They don't want to see you being in a situation that's wasting your time. They want you to get back on track and get on the destiny that you're supposed to be on. But at the same time, when they throw this tower moment, this wrench into your situation, that's either a loss of a job, uh, a loss of a loved one, God forbid, a loss of a family member. But either way, it's to stop the destruction that's going on around you or in your life. And this is definitely... Um, a way to put up a big stop sign to make you have to stop, to make you have to see it. Because the red flags that you were given from the universe, they were showing you the red flags, like this is no good, this one's lying, this one's cheating, this one's this, this one's that, this just isn't working out, they don't understand you, um, you deserve better, they deserve better, whichever. But you weren't paying attention to that. So that's when the tower moment has to come. So don't be afraid. If you haven't gone through it yet, don't be afraid. Then just pay attention to what's around you. When you see a red flag, put a stop to it. Challenge it. Okay? Don't give somebody the opportunity uh, to take advantage of you. Do not. Because that is not going to be the only fish in the sea. It is not. It might feel like it is, but it's actually not. And you might just find a better fish. So don't be afraid to take a risk. Don't be afraid to face your fears. And, and don't be afraid to invest in yourself, because that will be the best investment that you could ever make. Okay? So, that is all of the elements for today. In general, in general, majority of you are going to have um, the card that came up as the sun card. So, in general, majority of you, and again, this may be for those of you who the reading for each element, make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising sign. Um, but the sun card is definitely showing a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, 
um, there's success as well. So for some of you that are trying to start up your own business, maybe you're trying to start your own web page, maybe you want to start your own YouTube, whatever it is that you're trying to do, um, it may even be a cafe of some sort or some type of restaurant. Um, I feel really strong with a lot of you guys, but it, it's definitely, it's like time stamped. It, it, this whole card is the opposite of being sad. So this card means that you are rejuvenated, um, you're inspired, uh, you're accepting the challenges that are coming. Um, it also feels like it could be, you know, blessings coming towards you. So with that being said, you guys, uh, the Sun card, again, it's childlike ways, being very happy, um, innocent thoughts. So things that are definitely going to be productive in your life. Uh, the last card that I have for you is some of you, <coughs> excuse me, may still be dealing with this situation, may still be dealing with that third party, may want to uh, reiterate something to someone else, may decide that you are going to back up from something or not deal with something anymore. So for some of you, or for some of you, it could be a gathering uh, with a group of friends, going out to have a good time, raising your glasses, celebrating something. So, depending on your situation and who that pertains to, okay? But for some of you that may be dealing with that third-party situation, it feels like today or tonight, you may find something out about that uh, that is going to help you to understand it much better. You may find out who it's with. You might, might find out where they've been, how long they've been doing this or whatever. But I feel like you might get some answers today. So, pay attention to your surroundings, all right? So, with that being said, this is your daily again. Uh, for Saturday, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I look forward to doing a live with you soon.